The New York Police Department's massive camera network, dubbed the Ring of Steel, relies on computers to sift through hours of surveillance footage. New approaches to video analytics will make this job easier. We visited the lab of New York University researcher Chris Bregler, who believes motion capture technology in particular holds promise as a video analysis tool of the future. So, uh, so tell us, what are we doing here? So you're here in a state-of-the-art uh, motion capture lab. This is part of ITP at NYU Tisch, and we're also part of computer science. And this is um, a system that's usually used in special effects or in medical research. And we're using this for motion signatures. Mm -hmm. And we want to check out your motion signatures right now. Okay. And so we have this uh, 16 high-speed cameras, very high resolution. And we will put a suit on you, like a very humbling suit, okay. but you're, you're in very good shape. So you will look fantastic in it. Um, and then we're going to put 53 markers on it, on you, like at joints and everywhere. And then those cameras will track very accurately in 3D all your motions. And then we can look what kind of motion signature you have. Okay, sounds good. So let's get dressed. All right, thanks. Okay, so I'm all suited up. What do we do next? So now we do a scientific experiment where we let you walk with different artificial weights on you. And we want to test how your natural walk is versus how your walk changes when you wear something very heavy, which is obviously of some interest to security. After a bit of calibration, it was time to see if Bregler's setup could detect unnatural movements. We started with an empty backpack. And turn around, yes. And Next, we loaded around. the pack with 10 reams of paper to simulate the weight of a bomb. If you naturally grow your weight, like, for example, if you would be a woman and you would be pregnant mm -hmm. over the nine months, uh, you gain a lot of weight and your motor program and your muscles and your entire body um, will adapt to the weight. But if you just in the morning get up and strap something on you and pretend you're a pregnant woman, or you pretend you have a, just a backpack on, then this is something new to your body and you have to counterbalance it much more and your walk is not as natural as if you were used to this weight already your entire life right. or just the last nine months. Are you gonna tip over? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> a backpack full of paper definitely changed the way I walk. If I was a suicide bomber carrying explosives in my pack, would my awkward stride give me away? After some careful analysis by Bregler and his team, we sat down to discuss the results. You probably noticed it yourself. If you have heavy weight, it's, it's a little bit more edgy. Or so like you, as, as, as sort of similar if you just started to wear high heels, you know, and you don't know how to walk in high heels. And you see here your natural walk. This is um, one signature of two markers and the distance between them. It, it probably doesn't tell you that much, but it's, it's, it looks a little jaggy. You have at every walk cycle, you have a small spike here. And this is when you like hit the ground, you hit the ground with higher force. Outside the lab, detecting motion signatures is much more difficult. Obviously, you can't put everyone in a fancy motion capture suit. That's why Bregler's team started the Green Dot Project no. to analyze motion in raw video. The basic look of your face and everything is completely gone, mm -hmm. but we still see this soft biometric of how you move. The goal is to develop software sensitive enough to detect facial expressions and subtle hand gestures, unique motions that can be used to identify people and even separate politicians from the comedians that imitate them. Say live from New York, it's Saturday night! <laughs> If you have uncooperating people, like you're far away with a zoom lens, face recognition doesn't work. And so that's why we do other things, so-called intrinsic biometrics, uh, your body patterns, uh, your timing, the way you walk, the way you, when you speak, uh, how you use your hands and everything. And this is very hard to fake. It's much easier to fake a face. And it's also much easier to detect those motion patterns if if the subject is only like 10 pixels high, where you cannot detect the face at all. Bregler's work has attracted the attention of federal and local government. 
He has received funding from both the National Science Foundation and the Office of Naval Research. He is now working with the City of New York to incorporate motion signatures into its surveillance network. What if there's an emergency, like Grand Central blows up or something, and then you want to really, really fast go through all the surveillance footage in the past and find the right things. Time is at the essence. With thousands of cameras, you, you can't do it by hand. So, so this is all in the works right now um, from companies and universities like NYU and, and the city of New York is very interested in this.